Hello everyone, in order to unlock Jedi Force Choke and the Zelda Sword, you first need to complete the story quest broadcast. Once you complete the story quest, you'll have access to the VNC tower. And you're going to need that later on for one of the steps of this Easter egg. And the next thing you're going to need to do is collect five black ducks. And the first duck that we're going to cover is going to be located in Old Villador in the Houndfield district. And it's going to be in the northwest part of this district. And I'll just zoom in one more time for you. It's going to be right in this area here. And then this is what the surrounding area looks like. The duck's going to be in the pond right ahead of us, and it's going to be surrounded by dead bodies. And here are those dead bodies, and then here's that duck. And then we're just going to go ahead and take the duck, and that's the first of five ducks. And then the second duck is going to be located to the west of the Central Loop City. I'm just going to zoom in now, just to the west of the Garrison District. And then exactly where I'm located right now, we'll zoom in one more time. It's going to be in one of the towers of the Mount Lucid Observatory. And this is what the surrounding area looks like. I'm just out front of this observatory area, and we're going to be climbing up into this tower right here so i'll climb onto this truck then we'll jump up right here and then jump on top of this fence and then climb right here climb over the side and here is your second duck and the third black duck is going to be located just to the north of the central loop city it'll be just off to the northwest of the wharf district right in this area here and i'll zoom in one more time this is what the surrounding area looks like and there's going to be some ropes that we're going to jump on so we can cross this water here. We'll just jump, then jump, grab onto the rope, jump again. And I almost missed it. Jump one more time. Okay, we made it across. And then we're just going to move straight forward here. And we want to jump over these fences at the back. We're going to jump up here, climb this. And it's going to be right ahead of us in the water, right down there. You can kind of see there's an object down there, a vehicle. So we're going to jump into the water. And then we're going to open the back of this vehicle. You have to use a lock pick on this. Okay, we got it open. And here is our third duck. And then the fourth duck is going to be located to the southeast of the Central Loop City. And then we're just going to zoom in again. It'll be located in the southwest corner of the Lower Dam Air District. And this is where I'm currently located. And it's going to be right on me. So this is what the surrounding area looks like. Right next to that big dam. And then here is that fourth black duck. And the fifth and final black duck is going to be located in the Central Loop City in the Garrison District. And it's going to be at the very top of the VNC Tower. So we're going to enter the VNC Tower from the bottom on the north side of the VNC Tower right here. This is what the surrounding area looks like. And we're just going to jump over this fence and then go in through the front doors. And then we're going to go off to the right and then walk down this hall. And then we're going to call the elevator by pushing in the button. And we're going to take this elevator all the way to the top. And it takes a little while for this elevator to show up. So you're just going to have to wait for a little bit. The elevator is finally here. So we're going to go in and then we're going to press the very top button, which would be the two button to go to VNC Tower Roof. And then once again, this is going to take a while. So you're just going to have to sit back and wait. We just reached the top of the building. So we're going to walk out of the elevator and then take a left and then we're going to take a right onto this object sticking out from the top of the building and then you see a window right down there that's what we're going to want to jump into so we're just going to step off of this object and then push forward into the building and you'll fall right into that window and then once you get into this room in the very back of the room on the desk there's going to be a note and that note's going to have a safe code on it it's going to say if you 555 then i'm dot 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 and that's a reference to a slipknot song if you 555 then i'm 666 so that's going to be the code that you're going to use to get into this safe all you have to do is walk up to the safe, interact with it, and then enter 666. And that will open up the safe. And once you open up the safe, you're going to find the fifth and final black duck inside. And once you have all five black ducks, you're going to want to go to the bottom of the VNC tower once again. So drop off of the top of the building and then go in through the front doors of the VNC tower once again. And you're going to walk down that hallway one more time off to the right here, walk down all the way to the end of the hallway, and then interact with the elevator one more time. But this time, instead of going up, we're going to be going down. Now the elevator has arrived, we're going to go in and then this time we're going to select the basement, which is the very bottom button. Now we're going to exit out the doors, take a right, and then we're going to go under the water and then just go all the way down this hallway. So just keep on swimming straight and we'll have to interact with this locked door. Got that open and then we're just going to keep on going straight, then go up these stairs and then keep on walking straight and open up this door with the broken window and then keep walking down this hallway, go into this elevator and then you're going to want to press the bottom button to go to level zero. You can tell it looks like we're entering hell right now because this is the doom level. We're going to exit the elevator, walk out here, and now we need to place all five of those black ducks onto these five tables. First one, it doesn't matter the order that you do this, as long as you just place all five ducks onto these tables. There's the first one, this is the second one, this will be our third one, our fourth one, and our fifth one. 
And then once you have placed all five ducts on these tables, we now need to hook up all of these electrical panels to each other. So you're gonna need to hook up all of the green panels to the red panels. And the correct order for this is whatever green panel you're standing next to, you're just gonna pull a cable from it and then you're gonna turn directly around and you're gonna connect to the red panel that's on the left. And then attach that cable. And that was the first one. And now that we have the first one connected, we're gonna pull from the green panel that's right next to the one we just hooked up. And then once again, turn around and then walk straight over to the red panel on the left and we'll attach this cable. And that one's done. Now we're gonna do the third one. We're gonna pull cable from this green panel, turn 180 degrees and then connect to the cable on the left, walk straight over there. When we attach this, we're gonna hear a sound effect knowing that we attached to the right panel. And one other thing I should point out, every time that you do this, you're going to be lighting up one of these candles in the center. Now we have three of them lit up and then there's only two left. Those candles lighting up indicates that you're connecting the right panels to each other. And then we're going to pull from the fourth green panel, do 180 degrees, and then walk straight over to the panel on the left. I'm going to hear that sound effect again. And now we only have one green panel left. So we're going to pull cable from here, turn 180 degrees around, and connect the fifth and final red panel. And all of the candles in the center are going to be lit up now. And now we can start the challenge. So we're just going to walk into the center, interact with the shotgun, and then we're just going to hold in the enter key if you're on PC to start this challenge. And then once you start this challenge, if you're on PC, you can press in middle mouse click to use the Kadoom shotgun. And then you can blast all these zombies that are chasing after you. And we're just going to go off to the right. Then make sure to shoot these zombies before they get too close to you. Otherwise, they will blow you up. I got too close to that guy even. So we're just going to keep going down this hallway to the right. Then we'll take these guys out quick. Then keep going off to the right here. We're going to walk through this hallway. Keep blasting these zombies. And then there's going to be two paths we can take here. We first want to go off to the path on the left. So we're going to walk through the door on the left here, blow up the big guy. And then on this box, you're going to find the mistress sword, which is that Zelda sword. And we're just going to turn around here and then we're just going to make a U-turn and then go off through the hallway on the right now. And we're not going to walk very far. There's going to be a hidden door that we can interact with right there. So we're just going to take care of these zombies and interact with this hidden door, walk down these stairs and we're just about there. Take it right right on this box in the center of this water, that's where you're gonna get the Dying Force blueprint. And now that you have both of those blueprints, all you have to do is open up your inventory and then click on the crafting tab. And now you can craft either of those weapons. So the Mistress Sword is gonna be at the very top. It's an artifact weapon and you need 369 scrap to craft this or the Dying Force. This is a unique ranged weapon. Once again, you're gonna need 369 scrap parts in order to craft this. So we're gonna craft one of these Dying Force weapons. And then in order to actually use either of these, then you need to go back to your inventory and then click on your accessories tab. And then you need to clear up one of these slots on your accessories tab. So I'm just gonna get rid of these Molotovs and then click on the Dying Force. And as you can see, you only have 16 shots on the Dying Force before you have to use another 369 scrap parts to craft a new one. But now we have it equipped. So we're just gonna back out and then we're gonna press in the one hotkey. Once again, if you're on PC to select the Dying Force and then let go of that. And then all you have to do to use it is just click in the middle mouse button or whatever your use equipment button is. So I'm just going to press it in and then you'll start choking those guys. You don't even have to hold it in. It just automatically does it for you. And I noticed this doesn't work very well on infected. It only works well on human players. Anyway, that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions at all, please post them in the comment section, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.